Hi there, I'm Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. Welcome to the Fine Art video series for Painter. On screen are a few of my favorite paintings. In the upper left we have Agaves on the Edge Summer, which I painted with luscious Artist Oils brushes. In the upper right, we have West Side Afternoon, which I enjoyed painting mostly with the acrylics brushes. In the lower left, we have Agave Meadow, which I painted using dry media, mostly pastels brushes. And in the lower right, View from Point Loma, which I painted using mostly the oils brushes. In this video, we'll get acquainted with the Painter 2020 interface, including touching on the brushes, panels, and palettes. To make the videos easy to understand for beginners and those new to 2020, I'll be using the default workspace set up as the software launches. I'll open the Window menu, Window, Workspace, and you see I'm using the default workspace and I'll come down to Layout, and I'm using the default layout that you see right here. I just want to point out another layout that's helpful to find artists. I'm going to choose Window Layout, and we're going to go down to the Fine Art Palette Layout. And this layout brings up some helpful brush control panels, including artist oils, blending, real watercolor, real bristle, and the thick paint, etc. And these are useful jumping off places for you to experiment when you get deeper into Painter. So for now, I'm going to go back to our default layout to make it nice and simple for our demonstration. So let's have fun exploring Painter's interface. On the left we have the toolbox and the brush tool is chosen. The upper part of the toolbox, this section right here, is focused on tools related to painting like the brush tool, dropper, paint bucket, gradients, and eraser. The next section refers to manipulating the image and so here we have the move tool and if we click here this little arrow right here we see the transform mode and down here selections the selection adjuster the crop tool pen tool rectangular shape text tool shape selection cloner dodge burn and so on Mirror Painting, Perspective Guides, Grabber Hand, Magnifier, Rotate Page, and the different viewing options. Right now it's on Single Document View. Here we have Presentation Mode. And now for the Property Bar in the Brush Selector. The Property Bar changes depending on what brush or other tool is chosen in the toolbox. Here I'll demonstrate changing brushes and how the Property Bar settings change. Right now the Opaque Acrylic is selected. Let's have a look at the Brush Selector. I'll click here to open the Brush Selector and here we have the Painter 2020 Brushes Library. Acrylics and Gouache category is chosen and you see the other categories displayed on the left side. And on the right we have the Variants. Painter 2020 now gives us helpful previews of brush strokes for each of the category variants. For instance, the opaque acrylic that we have chosen here. Each brush variant is displayed with a dab mark, its name, and a brush stroke sample. As you can see, settings have changed in the property bar to reflect settings for the captured bristle brush. So I just want to touch on the settings in the property bar. Here we have the reset tool the stroke types, freehand strokes, straight line strokes, the stroke options. This button here allows us access to various tools related 
to stroke, perspective guides, mirror painting, and more. Here we have the size. If I click here, we have a variety of size settings available just with one touch here on the property bar. These updated property bar settings save us a lot of time where, as before, we would be opening individual panels to get to these settings. Here we have access to the grain settings and paper panel and paper textures. Over here with media, resaturation, and bleed. Here blending. And here the brush shape. Uh, dab options, say for instance the dab profile, paper textures again, and static bristle settings. And here the advanced brush controls that are related to this particular brush. On the far right of our screen are the color and layers palette drawer. The color panel lets us select a color and view information about the selected color. Right now we have the RGB sliders chosen. We can toggle between RGB and HSV via this pop-up menu right here. Also we have the mixer which allows us to mix and blend new shades of colors. And then the color set libraries, we can click on a swatch to choose a color. And we can save our own swatches into our own custom color set. Directly below we have the harmonies. And right now the complementary harmony is chosen. Below we have the layers panel. Right now just the canvas layer is showing. The Layers panel lets us manage the hierarchy of layers. We'll cover more about layers and more about the color panel in a later video. In this video, we explored the Painter 2020 interface, palettes and panel, default workspace, and palette layout. Next, we'll move on to video two and an overview of media working with brushes and color. Happy painting!